These sweet chili chicken meatballs have 10 grams of protein each, only five carbs, 75 calories, and you can make them in your air fryer in probably less than 20 minutes. Start out with a fourth cup panko breadcrumbs, an ounce of shredded Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of granulated garlic or garlic powder, teaspoon of ground ginger, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. You can use freshly grated ginger and garlic if you'd rather. Add 97% lean ground chicken, one pound, one egg, and two tablespoons or 30 grams of your favorite sweet chili sauce. We'll mix this up using your hand. You don't want to use a spatula. You don't want to over mix this. Uh, we'll just bring it till everything's evenly incorporated and just coming together. So we'll form 12 50 gram meatballs. I really recommend using a food scale if you have one just so you get everyone perfectly even. If you do eyeball it like this without a food scale, you can kind of take your smaller ones and use any scraps or maybe even pull away from some of your larger ones to make evenly sized meatballs. You want to get them as close in size as possible just so they cook evenly. Once you have your meatballs formed, we're going into an air fryer at 400 degrees for six to eight minutes. Times will vary between different air fryers. This is an Instant Vortex Pro. I have an Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Ninja Foodi that cook a little bit slower. So you may need to adjust times based on your air fryer. We're looking for 165 degree internal temperature. You want your meatballs fully cooked before you pull them out and then brush with a fourth cup or 60 grams of sweet chili sauce. Once you've got that brushed on, we're going back in the air fryer for just another one to two minutes at 400 just to get some caramelization on the sweet chili sauce. And after that, they're ready to serve. I like to garnish with green onion and toasted sesame seeds, black sesame seeds. I'll serve with rice and they're really great with fresh lime juice. If you need tips on ingredient swaps or other cooking methods like oven or pan frying, I'll put that in the description.